Good evening. I hope everybody had a great Saturday today. It was a beautiful day out, so I hope everybody had a chance to go outside and just enjoy nature and all the wonderful weather we've had. So the verse I want to share with you today comes out of Mark 4, uh, verse 34, and it's actually the verse I had this morning in my devotion, and it says, Jesus did not say anything to them without using a parable. And the devotion that I had talked about how he always used parables and parables are stories that have a different meaning than what it may seem like when you first hear them. Like the characters might stand for somebody else or the situations might be about something. But it got me thinking all day about parables and the parables that Jesus told and I thought about what my favorite parable, there's quite a few of them in the Bible, but this is my favorite, and it's out of Luke in chapter 15. It starts at verse 11, and it's the parable of the prodigal son, and here's how it goes. Then Jesus said, there was a man who had two sons. The younger of them had said to his father, Father, give me the share of the property that will belong to me. So he divided his property between them. A few days later, the younger son gathered all he had and traveled to a distant country. And there he squandered his property in dissolute living. When he had spent everything, a severe famine took place throughout that country, and he began to be in need. So he went and hired himself out to one of the citizens of that country, who sent him to his fields to feed the pigs. He would gladly have filled himself with the pods that the pigs were eating, and no one gave him anything. And, but when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired hands have bread enough and to spare? But here I am dying of hunger. I will get up and go to my father, and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me like one of your hired hands. So he set off and went to his father. But while he was still far off, his father saw him and was filled with compassion. He ran and put his arms around him and kissed him. Then the son said to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his slaves, Quickly bring out a robe, the best one, and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. And get the fatted calf and kill it, and let us eat and celebrate. For the son of mine was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found. And they began to celebrate. So I think this is one of my favorite parables. The parable actually goes on a little bit to talk a little bit about the older son. But I wanted to stop at that point because the father in this is God. And the son is all of us. We have those times in our lives when we just aren't as close to God as we should be. Maybe something has happened and it's just pulled us away from church and away from our prayer time and our devotion time. And we just don't have that relationship with God like God would like for us to have. So I think a lot of times we're that son many times. I know I've had a few times in my life where I've been that son, but I always know that no matter what, I can make a U-turn and I can go back and I can be in relationship with God again. And he will love me and accept me and welcome me back with open arms, just like the father did the prodigal son when he came home. So let us pray this evening. Gracious and merciful Father, thank you for today. Thank you for always loving us, even when we try to run away and turn away from you. Help us to always remember that you love us always and are waiting with welcoming arms and love when we turn back to you. In Jesus' name, amen. So I hope you have a wonderful rest of the evening tonight and you get a good night's sleep, and we will see you tomorrow. Good night, sleep tight.